Yo, what's going on, guys? We are here with my way too early season preview of the Chicago Bulls. And I think the Chicago Bulls had a good offseason. I want to hear your thoughts down below. And let's get right into it. Like and subscribe. Only 6% of you guys are subscribed. And you know what? We're on the way to 10,000 subscribers, about to hit 8,000. So join the club. We post 150 videos at least a month regarding every single team. So let's talk about it. Now, first off, the Chicago Bulls did what they had to. They re-signed Zach Levine. That was priority number one. Okay. And then they they didn't need to make any huge moves, but they brought in Andre Drummond that as much as you can hate Andre Drummond, when he's focused, he's a double-double machine. He's the perfect backup big man now in the NBA, especially with Nikola Vucevic. He's perfect because Drummond, I know he's not a great rim protector, but he's a better rim protector than Vuce and a better defender in theory. Then Goran Dragic. If we can have a Goran Dragic that looks more like the Miami Heat Goran Dragic than what we saw last year with the Raptors and Nets. I know he played like a few games with the Raptors, mainly played with the Nets. That's fine. And... We know that Gallinari was targeted by the Bulls, but instead they had to re-sign Derrick Jones Jr. because Gallinari chose Boston. And then Dalen Terry was taken with the 18th pick. I know none of these are flashy, you know, over-the-top moves, but I think the the Bulls have improved. They're a con you know, they're a title contender, they're top four seed in the East. I think they're definitely at the very least the the fourth seed in the East. And I think it's definitely a team that with they're, they're, what they needed was defense. They needed to improve their perimeter defense. They needed some depth, especially with Lonzo Ball. We don't know if he's going to be 100% healthy. They needed a better backup big man than just, you know, Tony Bradley and Tristan Thompson. They brought back Tony Bradley, but they also, you know, Tristan Thompson walked and they got Andre Drummond. So Matt Thomas left, Malcolm Hill left, Tyler Cook left, Troy Brown Jr. left. And, you know, they signed Justin Lewis to a two-way contract, Andre Drummond, Jarek Jones Jr., Levine, Dale and Terry. And they also signed Javon Freeman Liberty to a, I believe, an Exhibit 10 deal. Now, the current roster looks like Lonzo Ball, Tony Bradley, Caruso, DeRozan, Io DeSumo, Andre Drummond. I assume Javon Freeman Liberty's on an Exhibit 10 or they'll convert him to a two-way. And Javante Green, Derek Jones Jr., Zach Levine, Justin Lewis from Marquette, who should have been drafted. Marco Simonovic, Simonovic, Dale and Terry, Nikola Vucevic, Kobe White, and Patrick Williams. Now, the starting lineup is probably going to be Lonzo Ball, Zach Levine, DeRozan, Pat Williams, and Nikola Vucevic with, I believe, probably Caruso as the sixth man, Kobe White as the seventh man, Drummond as the eighth man, Derek Jones. Uh, eh, no, I take that back. Probably... DeSumo and Caruso as the first two guys off the bench, then maybe Kobe White as the eighth guy off in the rotation, and then the ninth man's drumming with Derek Jones and Javante Green and Dale and Terry being probably like 10 through 11. And then you think about Justin Lewis, Tony Bradley, Marcos Anonovic. Damn, this roster is interesting. Let's talk about it all and let's go through it. So, Lonzo Ball, we need him to be healthy, but if Lonzo Ball can recreate what he did just when he was healthy, Lonzo Ball was a good player, okay? Last year when healthy, he was shooting 42% from three, 13 points a night, 42% from the field. Obviously, you want his field goal percentage to be over 45, but still five and a half rebounds, five assists, almost two steals a game and a block a game. If he can come in and just play a full season, the guy's never played more than 63 games in, a, in his career. So obviously we hope that he can stay healthy and then they're golden right there. At shooting guard, they're going to run Levine with, you know, Levine's just got to do what Levine does, score a bunch. Try, probably we want him to try on defense. That's all. the one thing we'll admit. The downside with Levine is he doesn't play defense, but we hope that with him actually – you know, now being what a super high paid guy and wanting to win a championship, maybe that changes. But we all know that, hey, Zach Levine, we know what type of guy he is and what he likes to do. He likes to put up a bunch of numbers, you know, and people go like, well, you know, it takes so much effort to play def um, defense and be good at offense. Man, you're a basketball player. Play both, okay? And I, again, I do, I do like, like the Bulls. I like what the Bulls have done, and I think this is a team that 
definitely, definitely has improved defensively, which was their biggest question mark. And I do think our guy, Billy Donovan's a really good coach. I think he's an underrated coach in the in the NBA. And he's a guy that people kind of overlook. And then, you know, DeMar DeRozan, he's going to keep doing his thing. He's a point forward now. And if he, again, likes Levine, can try on defense, then they're going to be a lot better. Vooch. Well, they're going to run a power forward, probably Pat Williams, who Pat Williams, if he can take a jump scoring wise and stay healthy, he's a dog. He can guard every single position. And if he can just be like a 12 to 14 points per game score, awesome and hit like 34% from three at least, golden. Then Vooch, please be your double double self, rebound a shit ton and crash the boards, do everything we need you to do. But. Please try on defense. Really, with Levine, DeSumo, or not DeSumo, Levine, DeRozan, and Vooch, just tell them, please try on defense and just be awesome on offense. Then you go on to the rest of the roster. DeSumo, we expect him to be the primary backup point guard with Caruso being the primary shooting guard and those two, or Caruso the point guard and DeSumo the shooting guard. Those two guys are the backup the backup backcourt, and they're both good defenders. Hopefully, you know, they can both take a jump scoring and shooting wise efficiently, and that'll be nice. Drummond just needs to come in and average at least like eight points and eight rebounds a game with a block shot in like 15 to 25 minutes a night off the bench and just be their defensive rebounding rim running big men whenever they need to go more defensive minded. If Vooch is struggling defensively, then Javante Green will still like he's kind of their like undersized forward and he can rebound and shoot threes. He might be pushed like Derek Jones and Javante Green, I think, are going to get pushed out by Dale and Terry. Dale and Terry is going to get some minutes. Dale and Terry is a lot more ready than people think. He can play one, two or three. He can guard one through three. Arguably, if he's strong enough, he can guard one through four. So I see Dale and Terry, Caruso and DeSumo being and Drummond being the, the four guys rotated off the bench, which the fifth guy would be Javante Green, sixth guy, Derek Jones. Dude, Kobe White's in there, and I don't know where Kobe White fits. Kobe White just would be in there too, but I, and for scoring off the bench. And you look at this roster, and I'm a, I'm a big fan, but you already know this is probably going to be a nine-man rotation that I think DeSumo will get more minutes than Derek Jones, and I think DeSumo will push Kobe White with DeSumo Caruso drumming off the bench, and then Kobe, that's like nine guys right there, and... I don't know. It's just, yeah, Kobe, DeSumo, Caruso, and Drummond. That's your nine guys. And then you have right behind him at 10, probably Javante Green, 11, Dalen Terry, 13, Tony Bradley, 14, Marcus Simonovic, 15. I guess it would be Justin Lewis. And then it's interesting to see this roster. And it's, it's a good team, nonetheless. It's just what what are they gonna do you know and i think they had a good free agency they made the right moves that were needed to be done but i'll admit it it, it's kind of weird to see this team because what what is it what are they doing but that's it i hope you guys enjoyed I have an NBA show and an NBA channel you guys should check out and nfl nf nba show that you should check out and an NFL channel. NFL channel I'll post like every three days. And then the NBA show we post basically daily. We're Monday through Friday live at 9.30 in the morning central time. So go peep that. I love y'all. Bye-bye.